Now let's take a look here. Why do we say a big candle break? Okay, if I draw my line up here, okay, I have my resistance here, and then I see this big candle break here. The reason why we, we say the big candle break is important is because the big candle break tells you that this level has power. This level has strength. This wall, if you put it in a, in a basic language, the wall is so strong it took this much strength to go through it. A wall that's strong does not mean, oh my God, oh my God, I need to buy it. It just means a strong level has been broken. Okay? So, when you, when you look at this and you say, okay, I have my support and resistance, strong, strong walls, how do I analyze all this stuff? Okay, I can draw my lines technically everywhere, right? You want to look for areas that you have support and strong breaks. Okay, or resistance and strong breaks. Now, how do you refine that? Of course, as we discussed, my prices are different from your prices, and your prices are different from the next person's prices. You take it from the body, you snuggle it all the way up to the body, you get close to the body as possible, and you bring it down to the tails. That is your zone. That is your support and resistance zone. Okay? And you can notice the, the big candle that broke through, it broke through the entire zone in one go. When the markets approach this area in the future, Look at the amount of tails or the wick on top. No body is closing outside, especially in one go. That means this area has some strength. It needs some power to break through. Okay? The market goes up in the future. Again, a strong candle halts right there. Then it struggles before it goes through. Okay? So you will see this happen again and again and again, which indicates to you how do you use these levels and understand that these areas are strong or weak? Okay. All right. How many of you guys know how the, the flow of the market works? Okay. Let me ask you this, this question that you guys can honestly answer. Do, do many of you guys know the flow of the market or do you guys simply position trade. When I say position trade is like, okay, if the market comes up here, okay, this is this area, so support and resistance, okay, it's a trend line break, okay, so I'm going to sell there. Okay? Are you guys doing that or do you guys know how the structure of the market works? Okay. I'm going to explain to you guys the structure of, of the market. Okay, one thing that you guys always, always, always want to do is follow the sequence of the market. Understand which way the market is going first. And that does not mean, oh, it's going long. Um, and there's a delay, so can't see area cursor when making a comment example. Okay, okay. I will uh, slow it down when I draw something, so that way you guys can uh, uh, see it. Huge delay, huh? One second, let me turn on the VPN. Maybe that might help. Hey, can you guys still hear me and uh, see my screen? Okay. Okay, great. Let me, let me try. Okay, let me know when you guys can see a circle on my screen. Yeah, okay, great. It looks like it's, it's fine now. I, mean, I just needed a VPN access. Okay. All right, so when you see the flow of the market, it's not saying that this market is going long because there's a trend line there. No, no, no. If you guys are using trend lines, no. Okay. I, I don't, <laughs> don't use trend lines um, as my opinion is avoid trend lines as much as possible. Trend lines give you nothing. They give you absolutely nothing but a visual reference. If your trades are based on trend lines, death. It is literally death. Okay? So, how do you analyze the flow of the market? Okay. Let me give it to you in a simple way. Analyze the market in a sequence. 
Okay? How do you do the sequence? Look at a circle and draw the absolute highest areas that you see. Okay, I have a high there. I have a high here. Okay, I have a high here. Okay. I'm drawing all the areas that pop out. Do the same with the lows. Okay, I have a low here. I have a low here. A low here. And then a low here. So when I see this, now you can understand that the flow of my market is in a downward motion. Okay? Now if the flow of my market is in a downward motion, I, first things first, I don't want to buy. Okay? There's no point of buying to the sellers and giving all my money to them. Okay? So that's, that's the first level that I want to avoid. I want to avoid simply buying in the face of sellers. There, there's, nothing, there's no way I'm going to get away with that. Okay? The next thing, I want to I be aware of the key reversals in the market. Now that I have, have the market going down like this, the moment I get another low that's like that, it's a higher low. It's a higher low. And now you're like, this is just my higher low. I don't have my higher high yet. I just have a higher look. This is just your indication that this may be the area where the market turns. Okay? After that, you have a lower high still. Okay. Looks like we're going into this pendant formation, right? If you guys like the kind of patterns and stuff. Okay, we're going into this pendant formation. So you're like, okay, we're still not in an uptrend. And then you finally get a higher high. That's when you're like, okay, it's confirmed. I am now in an uptrend. Okay? I am now in an uptrend. So I am stalking only buys. So if the market does this to me in my face and comes down crashing, Everybody around me is going to sell. Literally everybody around me is selling at this point. They're like, sell, sell, sell. Oh, my God, sell. Otherwise, it's going to get away. I need to get it. It's that fear of losing it. I have to sell now. Otherwise, I won't have my Ferrari tomorrow. Okay? So they all start selling here. And I'm still watching that. I, I, we look at this, and they're like, the market's in an uptrend. This low that it's done, it's the first lower low we don't have a lower high yet. So it's not confirming anything. Because the market can still continue in a higher high, and this trend will just get adjusted like this. And then there goes your trend line concept. It's out of the window. Because people are looking at this like, oh, it's a trend line break, I need to sell. Well, it doesn't sell. It goes long after that. Because your trend has adjusted. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. So draw your circles. You know, forget trend lines. Throw trend lines away. Draw your circles to get, a, get an idea so you know which direction the market is actually going. Once you figure out the direction, you can really put your support and resistance to use. For example, when you look at these areas and you're like, okay, well, we're in a downtrend. Okay? So we're in a downtrend, and I, and I see like, okay, well, as it's going down, you can start plotting your levels. You draw it all the way up to the body. You take it down to the tail. And you're saying this, okay, big candle break. Okay, market comes back up. There's your sell area right there. Okay? You're targeting these areas only. The market may go further down, but you're targeting here. At least when you're doing something like this, imagine you have a trend line. Right? Imagine you have a trend line like that. Would you buy here? in this area, okay, you cannot. You, you need to understand the flow of the market. You cannot simply buy here. You will get crushed.
Okay, you need to understand that even though this this big candle went north in your face, you cannot just assume that, oh, dude, it's going long, I need to buy. And you're buying in the face of the sellers. There's a seller sitting right here ready to hit that. 